Hi and welcome to Priori Digital Studio tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use your debt payment tracker spreadsheet in the most efficient way. In this video, I'm using Google Sheets, but the Excel version is exactly the same, so you just need to follow me. First thing, we protect most of our cell where uh, there are formulas to make sure that you don't erase any important formulas that could impact the spreadsheet. For example, if you try to write here, you will see this message. It means you are not supposed to touch it, but don't worry. I'll show you step by step how to prepare your sheets. So if you see this message, just click cancel and it will go away. The first thing you want to do to set up your debt payment tracker is to fill in all your information in the setup tab. So this tab. Once the information is written in this tab, the rest of the spreadsheet is automated. So you can start with step one you need to enter your currency symbol. I'm in dollars, so I just enter the dollar sign right here. Then in step two, you want to enter the date you started to pay your debt. It could be last year, it could be today, if you just started putting money toward paying off your debt, or it could be in the future if you want to plan the repayment of your debt. So I will choose 2022 and February. In step three, you have to choose your repayment method. You have to choose between the avalanche strategy, the snowball method, or a custom method. In step three, you have to choose your repayment method. You have the choice between the avalanche strategy, the snowball method, or a custom method. In the avalanche method, you prioritize the debts based on their interest rates. You pay all the minimum payments for all your debts, but you allocate all extra, extra money to the debt with the highest interest rate. This method helps you minimize the total interest paid over time. The snowball method focuses on paying debts with the lowest balance first, then progressing to the larger ones. Once a debt is paid off, the freed up money goes toward paying another debt, hence creating a snowball effect. If uh, you want to customize your which debts you want to pay first, you can choose the custom option and the debt will be treated and analyzed in the order you wrote them in the table below. For, for this example, I will just put that snowball. In step four, you can add ex some extra cash you have freed up that you would like to put up toward paying your debts. It is optional only. So for this example, I have put, I'll put $50. Then in step five, you need to list all your debts. If you choose the avalanche or snowball strategies, you do not need to bother with the order you write them since they will reorganize based on your chosen strategy. If you choose the custom method, you have to write them in order you plan to pay for them. So let's take an example. First, you need to enter the debt name. So let's say credit card. Then the initial balance, let's say $10,000. The interest rate, let's say 10% and the minimum payment. So let's say $100. I'll put a few more example to help you understand how the sheet works. So let's say I have a car, $25,000 at a 7% interest rate, and the minimum payment is $250. 35,000, 8 percent interest. Let's say we have a minimum interest, a minimum payment of $300. And then finally, house, $250. Oops, 250,000, uh, interest rate of 4%, and a minimum payment of $1,000. Once all of this is done, you can go to the debt dashboard to see an analysis of your data. Right here in the yellow table, you will see the information about your debt that you already wrote in the setup tab. Then in the green table, you have your initial balance, your total monthly payment, and the date you would be debt-free. You also have comprehensive graphs of your balance over time and the initial balance of all your debts. In this overview column, the only cells where you could add information is the plus minus cells. You could use these cells to add spontaneous extra cash you have or um, some cash you want to put towards your debt repayment. As you can see, I have a few written here. And if you are more tight, you could decrease the monthly payment. As you can see here 
June 2023, I had less money, so I wrote minus $100. Then in this tab, you are able to see all your debts and your monthly payment, as you can see here. Credit card, car, boat, and house, as well as the percentage of payments that I've already done on those debts. I hope this tutorial helps you easily set up your spreadsheet. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Follow Priori Digital Studio on Etsy and YouTube for sneak peeks on new templates. Thank you.